All right, so here's the question. What should my new job be in the army? What should my new job be in general? Drake is crying. Tricky boy, tricky boy, tricky boy, tricky boy, tricky boy, tricky boy, tricky boy. Tricky boy. <laughs> What is happening guys, Art Chisel here and welcome to another video Archies. I hope you guys are having a great great day. Okay, what's up? How's it going? It's getting cold now, hoodie season. Check out the new Art Chisel hoodies if you haven't. You know, links are all over the screen and all of that. For today's video, I just want to talk to you guys. If you're wondering why I'm still wearing this crazy headband, I just had autoplasty. So, we're about to take off the thing now. It's gonna be all purple. <laughs> And pin to your head, okay? Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, that feels so good. <laughs> oh, it looks great. And that probably looks weird, huh? Yeah, it looks... Here's got packed too, huh? Make sure it's pinned down. Pardon me for the noise. I know it's a different scenery here. You got a little basketball hoop here. I'll be training with Ileana. So she's learning how to play basketball. It's been almost a week since autoplasty. So I have to wear the same headband for 14 days, 24 seven, and I can get to take it off. And I just have to put it on every time I go to sleep and all of that. But for today's video, it's more of a life update checking up on what's happening with you guys and just sharing what's in my mind at the moment recently i posted something on my youtube again it's on the community tab about stuff that's gonna happen to me in the near future okay if you guys don't know yes active duty army army medic army recruiter at the moment Art Chisel, Staff Sergeant Massey recently got promoted. I feel like a free agent. I vaguely talked about this in a lot of videos, but it's really upcoming right now. Like my window for re-enlistment is basically open, just like weeks. So if you don't know, if you're active duty, at some point in your contract, regardless if it's two years, three, four, five, six, or whatever it may be, 15 months out from your ETS, your end date of your contract, of your current contract, you will come in to this something that we call re-enlistment window, okay? So I'm in that window right now, or really soon, like what I said. Here are the options. It will vary also, okay? Don't quote me. My experience, my situation will vary from someone else's. So I'm just like sharing what you guys think about this situation and you know, just to foresee what's gonna happen to me because that's what I do on YouTube. I vlog, I talk about my life. So first off, I can definitely go back as an army medic again. 68 Whiskey Army Medic. I'm gonna take out factors such as bonuses, you know, we need money, we need to finance ourselves, we need to fund ourselves, especially now because I have a family and all of that. It would be a lot easier for me to decide if it was just for myself, but going back 68 Whiskey Army Medic is definitely an option. Most likely probably get like a stateside duty station. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be options also to go to an overseas duty station, probably finally get like a combat deployment versus something just like Kuwait or just being in Germany or, or Japan. But those are the options, you know, might end up in a line unit again and might end up in a hospital again. So I don't really know. So that's one of the options. Another option, oh, backtracking to that option, you know, deployments, going back to the field and doing crazy army stuff, you know, travel's gonna be there, more cool stuff, more in depth army medical stuff you know but you have to expand you know you can't just stay as an EMT you want to progress in your civilian career if I want to become a nurse if I want to become a doctor a veterinarian or something that I want to pursue I need to know that for myself if that's what I really wanted to do another one that I see when I go back as an army medic is you know time, again deployment time away from the field I'm at that point right now where I've been in for seven years active duty Wife has been out for a while, she's doing school on and off. Ileana's six years old, she's in first grade right now. So if ever, just for example, let's say I ended up back in Fort Hood again and I deploy right away for like nine months. Uh, it's gonna be hard to adjust, you know, financially. It's gonna be hard to find a school again for my kid. And it's, it's just a lot easier to be, why is Drake whining? Drake, yeah, so stop crying Drake, stay with me. So that's the thing, you know, like family is really important to me. So if I go back as an army medic, yeah, I'll get to get to do all the cool stuff again. Probably go to like some cool army schools, you know, airborne air assault if it's available and all of that. Finally get my EFMB. But what really matters to me is my family. So I'm really trying to consider that. So bear that in mind. But we're going to take out the factor about the money, you know, to the side and not think about it. Second option is going 
actual army recruiter or career counselor or somewhere along that lines you know that's one of the options also number one i will definitely have time to be with my family like almost every night there's no more field there's no more deployment i get to use my social media to you know the best of my knowledge and the best of my advantage because i've been doing this youtube thing for quite some time right now and it kind of directly translates to my job also because we talk about army stuff and i like making youtube videos and i will have a lot of time with my family iliana's six turning seven a few years from now she's going to be in high school and i don't want her to have that experience where she has to move and keep going to different places especially once she's in high school and flora want her to finish her school and just be stabilized and finally have a house so the channel will be totally in a different direction if we ever convert as a recruiter career counselor because every night i will be going home it's not like i'm going to be in the field going to be deployed uh, finally have financial stability a good place to raise my child a good time to actually pursue my course my degree whatever i want to do medical non-medical camera work or whatever like that and focus on youtube but it's it's gonna be super far from the actual who army stuff you know what i mean i think it's more beneficial for the family it's something that am i really willing to take the purple drink am i really willing to to finally like switch over you know it's really hard to switch especially if you have been in the army in the military for a certain amount of time and all of that another option is going 46 series public affairs i know a lot of people at the defense media activity uh in fort Meade and all um social media influencers and public affairs in different branches have seen my content and know and aware of what i do but there's like a lot of stuff regulations that i have to like make sure that are good to go like i'm e6 right now it kind of screwed me over on like switching because it's a lot harder you know at a certain point in your army career i think it goes also for different branches there's something that we call in and out calls so if you're an e6 it's a lot harder for you to transfer and go back to skill level one school you know and start from the bottom versus someone who's an e4 they would take someone who's an e4 and below versus someone who's already an e6 because you you are already trained as a medic like myself as a recruiter so might as well keep you there you know it's, it's just a lot easier to train someone fresh i know it makes sense it, it does but it's something that i really want and i feel like if i still have my youtube i'm still in the army i can a lot of freedom and stuff to do this but it would be nice to actually do this officially for the army if ever that happens if not it is what it is i already accepted that but it's fine but i must still try and push because i know i put legit content there based on my experience no one else is my unique army story and i'm gonna keep it that way with a little twist of my family and sometimes fun stuff and eventually we'll transition to something different you know who knows it's it's my life vlog another option which is not really an option at the moment i know a lot of people will be like just get out pursue a degree you know it's hard i have a family right now iliana six i have been dependent with the military for the past few years and i like how it is I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be staying in for 20 years. It just depends on what career field I'll be in. You know, as a recruiter, I'm still active duty. You know, like, so those those are the things and I don't really know what to pursue yet. I'm, I'm having that second thought again, like, should I do this, should I do that? And yeah, all of that. My, my mind is all over the place, not gonna lie, because the decision that I'm gonna be making is not just gonna involve myself, it's gonna involve everyone. That's why I posted that little poll or question on my community tab on my YouTube because I know you guys have different situations. That's why I asked like, are you guys are single, civilian? Are you guys in the military at the moment? Are you guys retired? So you can, I can see like different perspectives. And again, it's just, you know, listen to other people, what they have to say, try to weigh the pros and the cons that would benefit mostly my family. That's the one that I'm really concerned about and I care about and I'm worried about because I could really care less where I end up because I know I'm still, gonna st I'm still gonna be in the army. I'm still gonna be making videos and I like making this. And it's just something that I really wanted to share you guys and wanna know what your thoughts are. Other than that, continue watching the Art Chisel channel. More vlogs, more videos, more fun stuff coming really soon. I will update you ASAP as soon as I make a decision, as soon as we do that re-enlistment stuff. Oh, again, I didn't really talk about this because I wanna take away that factor. The money factor, the bonus, that would if definitely financially help me out I mean who, again like what I said who doesn't need it you know it would be nice to have extra to pay some bills put some to the side for a college fund for a rainy day I mean that's why we work that's why we grind anyway you know not not for fame not for like hey look at me check me out it's for your family for your financial stability once you get out once you retire and all of that you know people join the military for different reasons you know service the country 
to travel, to get free training, education, to get away from the family, to save money, and just to serve, you know? Those are just a few of the reasons, and I'm trying to find mine, and I'm just trying to share my life and my story with you guys. That's it for this video. Let me know what you guys think about the situation. Um, hope you guys are having a great, great day like usual. And damn, it's super loud over here. I guess I just gotta keep chilling and relaxing and more videos coming really soon. Hit that thumbs up, subscribe so you get notified whenever Art Chisel uploads a brand new video. All right, that's it for today. Art Chisel out. Boy, tricky boy, tricky boy, tricky boy, tricky boy, tricky boy, tricky boy. Woo!